Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Joe and welcome to a brand new video and Valve have messed up to say the least, right? As you can see, I've got two new crates here and this is going to be potentially one of the craziest unboxings you've ever seen. So for some reason, I don't know how this has happened, I don't know who discovered this, but I woke up today and someone sent me a message of them unboxing a Burning Flames Brown Bomber and I was like, wow, congrats on the unbox, that's crazy. And they said, well, no, there's a 100% unbox rate on Unusuals. So apparently, Valve have messed up on the crates. Every single crate, or, or certain crates, I think it's the first gen ones and then some of the 80s, give you a 100% unusual crate. So I've got two here to try out. These are very expensive at the moment. I'm just going to try this thing out, man. I genuinely don't know what to expect. The unusual market... Oh, what? I mean, I got... Maybe I'm opening the wrong crates. <laughs> maybe that's what's happened. I mean, I'll try one again. Maybe they fixed it. Maybe they're opening the wrong crates. But regardless, I want to talk about it, man. This is incredible. And this is going to mess up the economy like nothing else. I'm going to pick up one of the crates that's actually working. And I'll show you what I mean. Alright, so I just picked up a Manco Crate 2. These ones are much more expensive than the ones I tried. And this is meant to be the ones with a 100% drop rate. It's just my luck if I've missed it. So we're going to get a big elfin deal with Scorching Flames, dude. What, what is this, man? First unbox, I get a Scorching Flames Scout Unusual. I want to talk about this, though, because this could very well spell the end for the TF2 trading scene, or at least the unusual trading scene. The economy is doomed. That's all I can really say. The economy, for for cosmetics at least, is doomed. I want to show you guys the prices of things. I'm going to do one more unbox and we're going to go through the prices and just take a look at what exactly is going on. Alright guys, so I've got two more. And what I want to talk about is the fact that the crates that are giving out 100% unusuals have a 100% have a chance of being a first gen unusual, right? So that means effects like burning flames, energy, etc. are all going to go down the drain. I'm going to restart my game just so I have the crates. And uh, we need to take a look at this, man. Okay, so I just bought two crates. They're not in my inventory, which is fantastic. I'm not sure what's happened. It's taken the money. Oh, there's one of them. We got one of them. I guess it's put buy orders in. So we'll open this one. But these have a 100% chance of being a first a first gen unusual, so it's more than likely going to be a good effect. We get a data mining light with green energy. Dude, I wanna go I wanna show you guys exactly what this is doing to the economy though, because I have never seen anything like this before. So guys, this is how my inventory is looking. So let's take a look, for example, unusual runners warm-up. Three pound, five pound rather. Byros Beanie is 19 pounds. Three pound ninety-one. We've got three pound for a dreadnought. £3 for a scotch bonnet, £4 for a connoisseur's cap. I don't know what to say, man. I genuinely don't know what to say because there's people who've invested hundreds and hundreds of dollars into this game, right? And all of their unusuals have probably just lost their value. Now, the ones out of these crates, so Alpha Steams, Wingmans, Cranial Carcharodon, uh, the Brain Warming Wear, they're not going to get affected. It's things like this that I just unboxed, a data mining light for green energy, £3. Vive la France, a, a, a all-class hat which is pretty high tier, £6. I'm going to take a look at the team captain and the killer exclusive, just the general like high tier ones, you know. So we'll go unusual team captain. How much is that? £29, dude. That's That seems a bit too high, honestly. But that seems a lot cheaper than it was before. Killer exclusive, £17. £17, guys, for a killer exclusive. That is with masked flies, but that's so cheap, dude. I want to uh, take a look and see if my crate is here yet. It is. What else can we get, man? I mean, I'm, I'm kind of enjoying this as much as it sucks. I'm kind of enjoying this. Noble amassment of hats with circling heart. A circling heart all-class hat. And the worst part is, guys, that is probably going to be, what, five keys at most? Valve have completely destroyed the economy. This is the current state of the unusual market. Backpack.tf have put things on hold, I'm pretty sure. And I mean, look at this, man. £2.60 for an unusual. You can genuinely get your first unusual now for the same price or maybe a tiny bit more than a key. Do you know how absurd that is? I don't know what happened. I don't know how Valve managed to mess this up so badly, but they've completely ruined the economy, man. Like genuinely, the, it's completely ruined now. The the entire market for first gen unusuals is gone. No one wants to pick up a burning flames unusual because there's about 50 more of them. You guys saw me. I unboxed a few. I got circling heart, green energy, and scorching flames. Like I got three high tier god tier effects 
in three unboxes. The entire market for these things and the demand is going to go through the floor. Now, there can be positives to this. It's going to make low tier or, or like high tier unusuals, I should say, much more accessible for maybe struggling traders. The fact they can pick up an unusual for like three pound is just insane. And what can Valve do to come back from this? Because they, they're going to have to do something, man. They're going to have to do something with the unusuals that are floating about right now. And the only thing I can really think of is if they perhaps trade lock them. That would be... Oh, I don't know, dude. Because there's obviously, like, the whole scam of, oh, you have a duplicated item. We're going to need to verify it. But, like, what if Valve just trade lock everything that was unboxed? And, like, if you unbox them to try and save the economy, it becomes untradeable and you're stuck with this unusual. I mean, I wouldn't complain. I have a green energy mine and light and a circling heart tower and pillar. But, I mean, this this has got to be a drastic measure from Valve. They have to take drastic action here before it all just goes to complete garbage. I mean, it's already gone to complete garbage, but they can save it. And what I'm suggesting is that it has to be something like that. I'm sorry this video is a bit all over the place, but I kind of want to experience this before Valve fix it because, I mean, they've got to fix it. There's no way they can leave it like this. I've picked up another two crates. One of them is still going through in like a buy order, but what else can we unbox, man? Genuinely, what else can we unbox? Do you want to give me a burning KE? No, oh, come on. A circling hard Glasgow great helm? Come on, I, I expect it better. And the buy order for the second one is going through, but what I'm saying is like, Valve have to do something big. They're going to have to either trade lock them, they're going to have to... Or they're just going to leave it. Can you imagine they leave it? Like, they, they leave all these unusuals as they are and kind of just let it happen. Because there's nothing they can really do to come back from this. All these unusuals are now in circulation, right? So, even if they put a lock on unboxing crates, which they won't. Even if they just stop people unboxing crates, the damage has been done. And there's high tier, god tier unusuals floating around now. A lot more than there was before. I'm waiting for my second crate to come through because I really want to unbox the second one. But let me know down in the comments, guys. What can Valve do? To fix this. Like genuinely. I, I'm. The only thing I can think. Is all unusuals that have been boxed within the past 24 hours. They put a trade lock on like permanently. And just have it like locked in your backpack. As like an untradeable unusual. And although that would be a bit damaging to people who didn't unbox knowingly. Or like unbox one of the new crates. It's one of the only things they can do man. Genuinely. It's one of the only things that I can think of that Valve can do. That um, would kind of save face. Because genuinely like. It's got, it's gone, it's gone out the window. All unusual trading has gone out the window. If you want to pick up a first gen now, I'm sure there's like a burning flames ke on the market for about two pound fifty. I'm sorry this video is a bit all over the place. Let's see what unusual we get. I hate how you can say that now. Let's see what unusual we get. Because it's a Texas 10 gallon with scorching flames, dude. Oh my god, this is so... That's such a good unusual as well. And the, the thing is, it's going to be so cheap now. I wonder what the backpack.tf prices are going to be looking like after this as well. I mean... Dude, it's, it, the unusual's there as well. It's not like it's not a thing. They've just put a 100% unbox rate on these somehow. I don't know how. I don't know why. But, Valve, you really need to sort this out, man. Because people are going to abuse this. I'm sure people are abusing this. I'm abusing this by doing this video. And I know countless other YouTubers have made videos as well. You need to sort this out quickly. Because the economy is just going to keep going down and down. I don't even know why this happened. I don't know how... Like, they were, why were they tampering with the code for early crates? I'm genuinely clueless. But yeah, man, this is definitely not ideal on Valve's end, and they should really, really sort this out, because this is pr more than likely going to spell the end for Team Fortress 2's unusual trading scene. And although it's only first gens, of course, the prices of first gens is going to impact everything else. For example, why would someone buy, like, a third gen kilowatt unusual when they can get a Burning Flames one for half the price? It's all relative, so if Burning Flames and, and Green Energy and all these high tier effects drop in price, so will the others. The entire unusual scene is destroyed by this bug that Valve have somehow managed to implement into the game. But guys, that is just going to be about it for this video. If you did enjoy, please do remember to leave a like and let me know your thoughts down below. And if you'd like to see more videos like this and general gaming content, then do be sure to subscribe. Leave your thoughts on what Valve should do to try and rectify this or damage control this because they need to do something. Otherwise, the economy is just going to go down and down and down until you're literally paying pennies for an unusual. 
And I've never seen the economy in a state like this before. In all my time trading, I've literally never seen the economy in a state like this before. This is the most insane glitch Valve has ever added. And I don't think there'll be a glitch in Team Fortress 2's future that will do anywhere near as much damage as this glitch is doing. Both to the economy and just trading as a whole. Thanks for watching guys, and peace. Four. I'm waiting for a good day, I'm ready, feeling good mate, it's never gonna come like skate. Four. I'm so consistent like my heartbeat, always up the top like Vardy. In the scene nobody's getting past me, you think you're better than me hardly. I'm a once like a one man army, gotta grind up and get myself a car G. Cop a nice job with the palm trees, but until then I'll focus on my crafts. See I get a lot of hate like trash guys.